Ford v. Ferrari was directed by James Mangold and stars Matt Damon, Christian Bale, John Bernthal, and Josh Lucas, who I haven't seen in a big film like this in a long time, and tells the true story of car designer Carol Shelby and driver Ken Miles as they battle corporate interference, the laws of physics, and their own personal demons to build a revolutionary race car for Ford and challenge Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1966. James Mangold is one of the best directors working today. I don't think he gets enough credit, to be honest. He's had a few films like Night and Day that didn't really resonate with audiences, but Identity, Girl Interrupted, Walk the Line, 310 to Yuma, and of course Logan, I think he's an extremely reliable filmmaker, and he proves that again with Ford v. Ferrari, which for me was one of the most entertaining theater experiences I had in 2019. This feels like a very old-fashioned movie, and it's not just because it takes place in the 1960s. The way it's directed, the story that's being told, and the amount of money put into it. This is not very typical for modern day. There's no comic book people in this film. There's no sequels. There's no reboots. This is just a true story about some guys who tried to do something rather impossible. And according to IMDb, just about $100 million was put into this movie. That's just not very common anymore. It's so nice to see a story like this be granted this scale. And James Mangold directs this movie beautifully. The racing scenes are really tense, all filmed in beautiful wides. You can always tell exactly what's happening. The action with the cars is never confusing. It looks gorgeous. Christian Bale is incredible as usual. He took this role after playing Dick Cheney in Vice. So again, he lost a shit ton of weight for this role and he's amazing. He's one of the very few actors in his league that can still disappear into a role. He's played characters like Batman and yet, he still is able to vanish into a character. And Matt Damon is also great in the film, and what makes this movie really work for me is this chemistry between these two guys. Because they're a bit at odds at times, although they both have something they absolutely agree on, and that is their passion for cars and for racing. They don't view it as a job, they don't view it as a way to win, and they certainly don't view it as a way to make money. They can't imagine themselves doing something else. And if they're not allowed to do that, it's going to eat away at them. And so in that way, I really related to this movie because I don't really have a personal connection with building cars or racing. It's never been one of my favorite sports, although I'm fascinated by the skill that it takes to achieve it. At its core, this is a story about two friends trying to make something in the midst of multiple corporations that are descending upon them, making it really difficult for them to just do what they want to do, even though they're already really good at it. They have to fight to get the money. They have to fight to get sponsorships. They have to fight to get the right to get behind the wheel in the first place. They have to act perfect. They can't be too hot-headed because you're going to be on the news and you're the symbol of this company. So I can really relate to that because when it comes to movies, that's where I feel most at home, making them and talking about them. And it's where I feel most happy just like these guys in the movie, but for them it's racing. As I already stated, the racing scenes are brilliantly executed. I actually got cold sweats even imagining making this movie. The amount of stunt performing, the continuity issues they must have had trying to make sure the racing sequences all played out perfectly so that we understood the visual storytelling. It's mind-boggling the amount of work that went into this production, and it pays off beautifully because the film just plays so smoothly. It's 153 minutes long, and it never felt that long because it's actually really entertaining and very funny, and the characters are strong, especially a father-son dynamic in the movie that I found very touching. I've heard the term crowd-pleaser thrown around a lot for various films, and sometimes nowadays that can almost be an insult, strangely, to have that movie that just makes you feel good when you watch it and you leave the theater and maybe it didn't really stick with you. Maybe it kind of disappears from your brain on the drive home and you call it a crowd pleaser because people stand up and cheer. Blu-ray quote. I hate that quote, by the way. You'll stand up and cheer. No, you fucking won't. But this film really is a crowd pleaser in the best way because it's very true to its characters and it does not shy away from sadness. There are plenty of scenes that are very poignant and touching and it's not the type of thing that you expect to see in a movie that has so many laughs. About that runtime though, once they start building the car and are literally off to the races, the movie flies. But up until then, when there's a lot of paperwork they have to go through and company meetings and you know, corporations and all that shit, it can drag a few times. 
And that's about it, honestly, in regards to issues. I think this is a really, really well-made movie filled with wonderful performances. And it also is somehow able to have character, to have drama, to have all those moments, but also just please the people who want to see cars go fast. It has all of that shit, too. If you just want to watch this film for the car races, you're going to get that. You're going to get the rumbling engines. I'm not a car junkie, but my wife is, and she loved it. We both did. I think this is a really good movie and one of my favorites of the year. I'm going to give Ford v. Ferrari an A. We're getting some real movies this year. This feels really nice. I want more films like this. Yes! I'll take another, please. Thank you, James Mangold. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.